Hi guys, it's Erika, Create Your Future. Before I start this video, I just want to remind you about the contest that we are running. We are giving away some coaching. All the details are in the description below. I also want to let you know that I'm still running myself for my one-on-one -on -one coaching and I have a course called How to Manifest a New Specific Person. So in today's video, I just wanted to talk about or remind us all, me included, that your specific person is literally like an actor that you are giving a script to. For example, Brad Pitt, I give the example of Brad Pitt because I think he's really handsome. I've always had a crush on him. But besides that, I think he's a great actor. He has played the role of the bad guy and the good guy. And we believe him, right, when he's playing that role. Well, as the great actor that he is, someone wrote a script for him, right? So in manifesting, when we are manifesting our specific person, we are that person that is writing the script. And our specific person is the one that is going to play the role perfectly. They are literally like an actor. They are like Brad Pitt. And they will follow the script perfectly. What script are they going to follow? Well, first of all, I think my self-concept. Right? Like, what is my, my self-concept? For example, if I am thinking that I am a woman that never gets the commitment that she wants, my specific person will play the role of someone that doesn't want to commit to me because they will always just reflect by, back my beliefs. So if we don't want that, just scratch, change the script. And your new script, your new story should be, I am a person that always gets the commitment that she wants from who she wants. My specific person is extremely committed to me. He's the type of person that loves being, being in a committed relationship with me and only me. Um, also, it's not just my self-concept, right? Because I can have a really good self-concept, like, yeah, I always get the commitment that I want, and maybe you do get the commitment from who you want, but maybe not from your specific person. So you also have to check, what am I thinking about my specific person? Am I thinking that he just doesn't want to commit? Is there a story behind it? Sometimes the story is, well, I've been in a relationship before and I was really hurt and I don't want to get hurt again. Therefore, like, I just don't want commitment, right? If that's their story, if, uh, if that is your specific person's story, just change the script. And in that particular situation, you can assume that with you, they feel really safe, that they trust you, that you feel like home to them. And what happens when you feel safe with someone, you're like, well, this person will never hurt me, will never cheat on me, will never leave me. I'm being emotionally available to them and open, and I'm staying here. This person is the one, right? So assume that your specific person feels really safe with you, and that's why they're choosing you and committing to you and being emotionally, emotionally available and open to you. And just know that your specific person will follow that script. He will play it perfectly, or she will play it perfectly. Now, there is always going to be a little bit of delay, right? We have to persist in that new high self-concept and that uh, assumption and concepts that we have about our specific people. <laughs> we have to persist, we persist, we persist, and we don't stop until they start showing up that way, even after they show up that way. But I'm mentioning this because I don't want you to react to the 3D in case of the old story still showing up. There's, there is a delay in the 3D. So let's say that you have been on your mental diet about, you know, like your, your self-concept and the concept that you have of your, your specific person. And let's say that they still show up um, not committing. Don't react because the fact that they're still not committing is just... The 3D is changing, things are moving, 
and they're still showing up as not committed to you, but it's just an old story that will fade away. So don't react to it, right? We cannot, you know, react emotionally. I can still feel sad or upset about it. But with my mind, I'm still focused on, no, like I am someone that always gets the commitment that she wants. And this person is extremely committed to me. Um, don't react to it because if you're like, oh my God, like he's still not changing. She's still not changing. They're never going to commit to me. Then you reacted in a way that says, yeah, this is the reality. And you, if that's your focus, that this is the reality, they're not committing to me. That's what you're going to get more of, especially since you already have faith in it because you have been living in it, right? So that's where persistence comes in. Don't react to that 3D. Remember the 3D is just an old story manifested. It's an illusion. It can be easily changed. It's malleable like Play-Doh. And just persist, 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 persist until they show up the way you want them to. Now, it's not just once that they show up, then I just, I just don't do anything, right? Because you don't want to go backwards and you know, or start being afraid that they're going to leave me again. They're going to reject me again. They're going to break up with me again. No, like this is a lifestyle. After they get back, continue your, your mental diet, right? You can just keep affirming that they love you so much that every day the relationship gets better, that they're more committed to you, right? We always want something. So I think just what's important is not to give um life to your fears right if you notice that those fears come back say no that is not my reality and affirm in that moment your truth for example oh what if they leave me again no that is not the reality that i want and affirm your truth i am so loved this person is madly in love with me i'm too important to lose that's why they're staying with me forever right something else that you can do is also check what are your beliefs about relationships, right? So it's your self-concept, what you think of the other person. If you think that you have a belief that relationships uh, go sour after a couple of months or weeks or years, right? Whatever, change it because it's a belief that doesn't serve you. Say, no, maybe I used to think that in the past or maybe that's the experience for other people. But in my reality, relationships just get better with time, just like wine. Like, my relationships get gets better with time. Um, relationships for me last a lifetime. My love relationships are like that movie, The Notebook, where it's a love story that lasts forever, that la lasts a lifetime, even after you know, after this lifetime, right? If you believe in the afterlife, I do. So, also, if you have a belief that, for example, my sexual preference is guys, right? If you think that, oh, like, or if I think all oh, guys are the same, like, no guys want to commit. In my culture from Mexico, maybe we have the belief that all oh, guys are machos, right? If that, that's a belief that doesn't serve me. So change, I need to change those beliefs and say, no, like the guys that I experience in my life are guys that are really respectful. They're the committed type of guys. They're, they're like one woman type of guys, right? Like I meet high quality men. That's my reality. So maybe a good exercise that you guys can do is write down your beliefs first about yourself. And I will start with, I am a God of, the God of my reality. I am the upper power. I am the only one with free will in my reality, right? I think that should be your start. Make sure that you believe that you are the only one with free will in your reality and that everyone else will reflect to me what I think of myself, what I think of them. So I am no one to change but self, right? So make sure that I believe in myself. Um... I will also check, um, like, what what do I think about me? Like, you know, my self concept. Write it all down. And what you can do is like write up, write down all the things that maybe you think of you negatively, right? Like, 
no one ever chooses me i'm always rejected right write it down and on the opposite side write write it the very opposite in a positive way i'm always loved i'm always chosen i'm always pursued then go on to like what am i thinking about my specific person right maybe oh like he's rude like he's uh he's not the committed type like he is a cheater write it down cross it out on the other side write down the opposite of that like write the qualities of your person the way you would like to experience him or her like he's the committed type he's very respectful he's very loyal da, 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 da. then what do i think about relationships again if write out write down all the things that you might think that maybe don't serve you for example like relationships don't last a lifetime cross it out and say no for me relationships last a lifetime then what am i thinking about men in general write it down if it's negative and for example what i said like all guys are machos right right cross it out and say no like guys the guys i meet are quality high quality guys very respectful very committed and um what else I think that's it right maybe love <laughs> love is abundant in my life uh, yeah love lasts a lifetime for me i don't know it's just write down it's like you're emptying your mind from all the negative whole story and then rewrite that story all into positive and then keep that script the new story knowing that your specific person just like an actor, a great actor will, will follow this new script to the T. And just keep that, that script. Throw away the other one. Like, Don't think of them uh, as the old story. Don't think of yourself as in the old story. Make sure like, yeah, you get rid of it, you burn it, you flush it down the toilet, whatever you want to do with it. But don't think of them in that way anymore and just persist in this new story they will play their part perfectly and just continue in that path of like everything that you want and everything that you deserve because everything is possible and yeah that's the that's the way to do it i hope that uh, this video was helpful again if you need help with your specific situation i would love to help you all the links are provided below and yeah thanks for watching you guys bye